Hello, I'm Elizabeth Robinson, Volunteer Engagement Coordinator here at United Way of Marathon County. We wanted to say thank you for participating in Adopt a Classroom and for volunteering your time to put together literacy kits and grow kits for kindergartners across the county. So we're gonna open it up and take a look at what's inside. Let one person from your company go through this envelope and lay everything out, out that's inside your box and then create sort of an assembly line uh, for putting the pieces together. Uh, you'll have your instructions here. The first page is gonna walk you through uh, the kit building portion of this. So what you're doing uh, on site at your office. Uh, the second page is going to walk you through what you're doing inside the classroom. So you wanna... Once you have laid all of your supplies out, uh, you can find a system that works for you. Uh, you'll want to cut your pipe cleaners into thirds. So we're going to take two of each seed. So I've got two of my round pea seeds that I will tuck inside this bag and two of the bean seeds. They'll both go in here for each student. So you'll place a mailing label right on the center of the palm of the glove, low enough so that when you go to secure the glove with the uh, pipe cleaner, you can still see the child's name. We'll take uh, pea and bean labels, and you're going to put two pea labels on fingers. You can choose whether or not you want them to be right next to each other or intermixed and then two bean labels, leaving the thumb blank. Next, you'll take a sponsored by company label and place it in the center of the blue bag. We're doing this right now for just one student, one pack all the way through. Uh, you'll do this for each child in the class plus a few additional kids. For the book, we'll take another one of the sponsored by company labels, open up the front cover of the book. You can see it says, hooray. You'll place it underneath the little critter, like so. Then on the back side of the book, over the barcode, you'll take a United Way ready to read sticker and place that right over the barcode, like so. Once you have stickered your book, you'll take the five reading tips bookmark and tuck it inside the bag, along with the rest of the literacy kit items. So the activity book and the little critter cutout, along with the My Plate stickers, will slide inside the book bag. The next step will be creating the garden in the glove kit. So you take your glove and your boat. You're gonna place the glove inside the boat along with four cotton balls, one pipe cleaner. So the short pipe cleaner here is going inside and your four seeds. You'll take the garden instructions, place them inside the larger Ziploc bag. garden in the glove kit. Uh, first we'll put another sponsored by label. Um, so your company's label will go on one side. Let's move it across. It's a little tricky with it being rounded. And then this is our planting instructions label with a space for the student to write their name. So this is the planting pot where the students will put their seeds once they've sprouted and then they can take them home. Filling it about half full. And then you'll seal it with the lid. All right. So once you've completed all of your dirt cups, you'll put them back inside your box along with the garden of glove kits. All of your literacy kits are going to go inside your black tote that should have your school and the teacher 
listed on it. Be sure to mark your calendar and have all of your volunteers ready to go into the classroom on the date and time specified on your assignment sheet. Your teacher's name and school will be listed here as I mentioned previously. Feel free to give the school a call and just confirm that you are coming and how many volunteers you plan to have with you. You'll want to read through your instructions so that everybody feels confident in what they're doing. It's helpful to identify one volunteer who will read the story or you can choose to go back and forth between a couple of volunteers. We recommend having at least three volunteers with you so you have extra hands to help you with the project and help the students as needed. You'll also want to be sure that these instructions accompany you so that teachers have a sense of what they're doing after you leave uh, so they can transplant the seats with the students into their drip cups. Thank you from United Way for volunteering with youth in our community, supporting literacy and helpful eating habits. We appreciate your support.